Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester United facing Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea between the posts. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And Bout Veghorst is the striker. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Michael Keane in central defence. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Thank you for attending Old Trafford. Enjoy the match. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. Beckhorst. On to Bruno Fernandes. And using his strength to shield the ball. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Great opportunity. Oh, blocked it. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, too many passes go sideways and backwards. And unless they continue to play more forward passes, their struggles in front of goal will continue. Anthony. Fernandes. Anthony. Encouraging stuff from United. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And the short option preferred. Veghorst. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And short it is. Casimiro, and the ball is loose. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Now, who can he play it to? Rashford? Can't miss, surely! Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Onana, Ducouré, high quality defending. Fernandes, 
This looks threatening. Bruno Fernandes. Wonderful chance. A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So, Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Cross blocked. Timely intervention. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, I couldn't quite find his teammate. Amadou Onana. Moving into the advanced position. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Beghorst. An unforced error, you've got to say. Beghorst. And he's fired it against the post. Not a time for cool heads. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Vechorst. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, they might be onto something. McNeil. Good effort here. Determined block. Veghorst. Now Casemiro. Anthony. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Harvard Lewin and he's done it parity again a magnificent game unfolding well this is a brilliant strike as you can see he hits it with so much power the keeper had no chance fantastic finish So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Wout Weghorst. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Tremendous ball played through. Calvert Lewin. Coleman. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Anthony. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Mm -hmm. 
Weghorst. Return to Casimiro. No high quality defending. Rashford. Anthony. Now Casemiro. Back with Weghorst. Rashford. On to Weghorst. Must take the lead here. Marvellous anticipation. Perfect challenge. And threading it forward. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is brilliant from Rashford. He hits it so sweetly. That's a top-class goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Coleman and now Ducure and with that the attack fizzles out and into the last 30 minutes now Vechorst this looks more than decent spot on with that tackle Rashford Strong play here Casemiro Really vital interception here Calvert-Lewin Anthony Dallo Great block. Casemiro. Gives it a go. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Here's a change for Manchester United. And taken short. Benkhorst Now with Casimiro Still alive Well, able to survive that attacking push Well, I don't think they've been at it today But maybe, just maybe That great save will inspire them now Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up And now both will rely on their respective benches Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Rashford. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish.
So back underway, 3-1 the score. Keen. Connor Cody now. And return to Iwobi. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Marcel Zabitza. Bruno Fernandes has it. Fernandes. Opportunity here. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Casemiro. Fernandes. Can he finish? And still a chance. And in the end, no damage done. He will be. Corner coming up. And over it comes. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Juan Bisaka. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. That's useful play. Well, out of play, under pressure. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 